Okay, so here we have a patient with a foreign body in the bottom of her right foot. Uh, she was walking on her deck this day, and uh, we are concerned about her. Uh, so we're going to make sure her face does not appear in this. And uh, so she has this giant foreign body. Her husband didn't saw it and was like, I am not taking care of that. So she came over to my office. Um, so one thing that we do pretty well is take out splinters. Uh, what, we, what we should do is pair off the top of the roof of this thing uh, with no discomfort. This patient did not have any uh, pain when I was doing this. In reality, I should be doing it in the opposite direction from south to north in the direction that we want the splinter to go. We don't want to accidentally push the splinter deeper into it. So here I switch to the 15 blade. I get myself into this, this canal and I split it open. She is not, that, that skin is insensate. So now I've opened it up and exposed the foreign body, and I use a sterile forcep to pull that thing out. She was not up to date on her tetanus, so we got tetanus uh, updated. Uh, she's going to be going to a primary doctor tomorrow, and uh, I also give her antibiotics as prophylaxis until that happens. Uh, she has antibiotic allergy, so I have to be custom to that. So here it comes. We measure this thing. So look at the size of that guy. That's probably the biggest one I've done here in the office um, without, you know, needing a fluoroscope at the uh, operating room. Here I am trying to measure it. Those betadine stains, gross. Uh, nine millimeters, I'd say. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, we're going to be continuing to put out more content. Our quality of content will be getting better and better. And um, remember, every day is the best day of your life.